My name is Philip Jow. Um, I've been coaching in Bethesda for over 20 years. Um, former soccer player. Uh, my two kids played in Bethesda, Joseph Jow and Mia Jow. And um, I've been around this area since 1975. Yeah, can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> I was born in Ghana originally, and um, my father uh, came to the USA to play in the professional league then. It changed all our lives. I remember not having running water, not having lights, things like that, right? It wasn't until I was leaving that we had lights and running water. Yeah, so. When I came here, all of a sudden, you know, it was. It was a blessing because soccer just opened up so many doors for me, got to meet people. It was just an easy way to fit into an environment, you know? And then, so I was just thankful for that. Soccer wasn't like this back then. Now, it's all over YouTube, um, the cable TV and all of that. Soccer is everywhere. I wasn't even thinking about playing uh, professional or anything like that. I just fell into it. played on the national team, U.S. men's national team. Back when I was playing, I mean, uh, we used to play club teams too. We used to play teams like Benfica, Bayern Munich, and all of those things, right? All of those teams. And then so when you play those games, they don't count as caps. We played against Benfica when they won Europe. They came to the giant stadium and played against the USA men's national team. And uh, I scored the winning goal. <laughs> that was my first international game. I scored the winning goal. As I retired, I started coaching, you know, like um, I went to um, Claudio Adao, who played for Brazil and uh, Flamingo, and uh, he was like a big time player in Brazil. I went to Claudio's house and um, I saw this 10 year old playing foot volley, you know, like foot volley over the net. Right. And I was like, man, what? I've never seen a kid play like that. A kid play soccer like this, receiving the ball on his chest, using his head, doing all that stuff. And I said, man, when Joseph gets to be that age, I want him to play like that. That's how I got into coaching. And then so when, uh, when I came back, I just made up all these like foot volley um, uh, with a PVC pipe. I made a foot volley thing where I would play with Joseph, all his friends, just started coaching those guys. And then um, there was one guy that was coaching in Bethesda. His name was Ula. He had um, a team called uh, the Roadrunners. Then I formed a team. I formed a team called Bethesda Storm. And he says, you know what? Hey, why don't we merge the two teams? And then so we merged the two teams and that became the Roadrunners. That team, nine players made the national team. Four uh, made residency. Joseph, my son, Shaquille Phillips, Julio Arona, and uh, Samir Badir. Four of them were in residency at the same time. Never happens, not from one team, not even from one club, but one team, never. Obviously, overall talent is getting better. The European kids, uh, African kids, we've got kids from all over the world, honestly. If you're one of the best players in the DMV, you're probably one of the best players in the country. It's flat out. You're one of the best players in the country. I mean, um, you know, I, I don't think that players should take it lightly, you know, but overall, um, we've had so much talent. I mean, you know, soccer is such a small world, you know? Like, uh, I, I mean, I've met so many good people um, soccer has been so good for my family. Um, so, I mean, I've gotten so much out of this sport.
And um, I think I gave some back too, you know? So, yeah. The pain won't stop me, the rain won't stop me I know God can stop me, but he ain't gon' stop me Cause he the one who robbed me I don't see why my back been for shit that was not me When he got the pen, I was keen The drugs almost got me, my best friend was Oxy She got the words off me, my mama couldn't stop me Cause she ain't know about me, my close friends was all fiends My money, that's all shit, what I learned from that cost me